हेलो एवरीवन सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग आवर हैमिल्टन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू डिस्कस द हैमिल्टन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इज आवर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो एज यू नो वी हैव द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज द कार्टेशियन पोलर सिलेंड्रिकल एंड स्पेरिकल वन ओके सो वी विल डील विद ऑल ऑफ देम सेपरेटली इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वीडियोज सो फॉर द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डील विद द हैमिल्टन इक्वेशन इन द कार्टेशियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम टूडे ओके सो द टॉपिक ऑफ अवर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज The Hamilton's differential equation in Cartesian coordinates. Okay, so first thing we need to know in order to get the uh, in order to get the Hamilton's equation of motion, first we need to figure out the Lagrangian. And Lagrangian, as you know, is given by the difference of kinetic energy minus potential energy. So first we have to write the kinetic energy of the particle. So the kinetic energy of particle so the kinetic energy of particle will be given by uh, will be represented by t and is given as half m v square velocity square uh, so in the cartesian coordinate you know velocity will be dx by dt dy by dt plus d, uh, dz by dt and all of them squared so you will basically having x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square so this will this will be your velocity in cartesian coordinates uh, uh, square matlab uh, this will be a velocity square in cartesian coordinates now the second thing you need to find is the potential energy of particle potential energy of particle so the potential of energy of the particle as you know uh, in the uh, cartesian coordinate the v will be function of x comma y comma z as you are using the Cartesian coordinates. Now you can easily know from these two uh, that the difference of these two will be your Lagrangian. So your Lagrangian will be basically your Lagrangian, which is represented by L, will be T minus of V, your kinetic energy minus potential energy. Uh, so putting the values, you will get half m v square. V square means x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square minus of v x comma y comma z okay so this is your lagrangian now as you know the generalized momentum is given as generalized momentum the generalized momentum is uh, given by uh, like pk is equals to del l by del qk dot okay so this thing you know so how do we uh, find the generalized momentum corresponding to the uh, cartesian coordinates uh, let's say for x so what will be your px your px will nothing be uh, will be nothing but del l by del x dot so this is your lagrangian now you need to differentiate this lagrangian with respect to x dot so what do you get so as you can see uh, this will be become and this uh, differentiation of x dot square will become 2x dot and 2 and 2 will cancel out so you will be having the first thing you will be having is your mx dot and this is only the function of x y z the potential is only the function of x y z so you will be having nothing else than that so that is the only thing you will have so from here you can see so from here you can see what will be your x dot your x dot will be basically px divided by m fine so this was very easy so uh, with the analogy similarly you can see you will be having y dot as py by m and you will be having z dot as pz by m so these are the things you will have now you know the hamiltonian the hamiltonian is given as so how do how do you uh, write the hamiltonian hamiltonian the hamiltonian as you know is given as h is equals to summation of pk uk dot minus of lagrangian so here you have uh, three coordinates x y and g so your hamiltonian will be basically uh, corresponding to these three coordinates so that will be basically px that is pk px qk means x dot then summation uh, will run to yz also so py will uh, into y dot plus 
pz into z dot minus lagrangian you have already uh, found, found out so that will be half m <coughs> x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square minus of so there are two minus basically so minus minus will become plus v x comma y comma z so this is your hamiltonian this whole thing is your hamiltonian okay uh, now as you can see the hamiltonian happens to be the function of uh, your uh, generalized coordinate and generalized momentum so you need to replace the velocities so there are three velocity terms that is the x dot y dot and z dot so you have to replace them so how do you replace them as we have already found out that the x dot y dot and z dot have the value these so we will substitute these value in this expression h why we are doing so as you know the hamiltonian is a function of generalized momentum and generalized coordinate so you need to replace the velocity term okay so velocity term should not be there so you will basically uh, replace them so if you replace x x dot by px by m what do you get you will get px square by m similarly you will replace y dot by py by m so you will be having py square by m similarly you will replace pz by uh, z dot by pz by m so you will be having pz square by m fine so this was very easy minus and what else can you do here also see the velocity terms are there so here also you will substitute them so you will be having px square by m square plus py square by m square plus pz square by m square and then plus of v x plus v x comma y comma z z so this was very easy as far so now you uh, i am just rewriting py square by m plus of pz square by m so here you see m square will be common uh, will be common so you will be having uh, 1 by 2m as the m will get cancelled 1m will get cancelled and then you will be having px square plus py square plus pz square plus of v x comma y z so this is what you got and now if you can see uh, uh, here here also you can have 1 by m common so this is this will be basically 1 by m common and inside you will be having px square plus py square plus pz square and minus half m half 1 by m px square plus py square plus pz square plus v comma x comma y comma z so this is what you got so if you subtract them what you will get you will get basically 1 divided by 2m times of px square plus py square plus pz square plus of v x comma y comma z so this is was your hamiltonian so hamiltonian is basically a function of generalized momentum and generalized uh, coordinates okay so there is no generalized velocity you should not have the terms like x dot y dot in the hamiltonian okay so if you found out the hamiltonian now you can easily found out the hamilton's equation so what will be the hamilton's equation so the hamilton's equation so the hamilton's equation will be the first uh, the hamilton's equation as you know are given as uk dot uh, is equals to del h by del pk and the second hamiltonian equation is given as pk dot is equals to minus del h by del qk so this you have to remember the hamilton's equation are given as this so here if you try to find out the hamilton's equation in the cartesian coordinates so what will be those so the hamilton's equations in cartesian coordinate so this is our task to uh, find out the hamilton's equation in the cartesian coordinates so how do we find so the cartesian equation the hamiltonian's equation that is the qk dot uh, qk dot that means the first you can see for the x dot so what will be that that will be del h by del px so you simply need to differentiate this expression this hamiltonian expression that is this expression with respect to px so what do you get as you can see this will become twice of px and 2 and 2 will cancel out so this will become basically px by m fine and 
what will be what will be this uh, you can simply write it as x dot is equals to p x y m okay now the second thing you need to find out is p k dot that means uh, the p x dot so what will be your p x dot so your p x dot uh, let me do it in the second line so what will be your p x dot so your p x dot will be basically minus del h by del x okay so when you differentiate this h with respect to x what do you get uh, you, you see here is uh, this first term is not a function of x but the second term is a function of x so you will be basically having minus del v by del x so you will be having minus del v by del x similarly you can uh, do for the uh, y dot so for y dot also you will find that uh, y dot will be a py by m that is when you will uh, then when you will differentiate the expression for hamiltonian with respect to py so you will get py by m and with this along with this if you uh, use the second equation corresponding to y you will get minus del v by del y so py dot will be minus of del v by del y okay so this is very similar similarly you can write for z dot as pz by m and you will be having pz dot as minus of del v by del z so you may express this we uh, you may express the equation of motion as how how you can express see as you have x dot is equals to px by m okay so do one thing just double differentiate this so what do you get you will get x double dot is equals to px dot by m now you can simply substitute the value of px dot from here so if you substitute the px dot from here what do you get you get so let me first multiply this m here so you will get basically mx dot equals to px dot now i'm just substituting the value of px dot so that will be mx double dot is equals to minus of del v by del x okay so this uh, this was your equation of motion corresponding to uh, uh, along the x axis similarly for y you can see as you have found out that y dot is equals to py by m so what will happen is uh, you double differentiate this you will get m y double dot is equals to py dot and if you substitute the value of py you py dot you will get minus del v by del y fine so this is your equation along the y and similarly if you do for the z you will get uh, z dot is equals to px by m so if you double differentiate you will get m z double dot is equals to pz dot and if you substitute the value of pz dot you will get m z double dot is equals to minus of del v by del z so these three are your equation of motion you are familiar with this okay f equals to ma minus minus del v by del z is nothing but your force okay so negative gradient of potential is force so f is equals to ma this you know is your equation of motion so we have found out the equation of motion in the cartesian coordinate system so i hope you got it in the next video we will do it for the different coordinate system that is the topic for our second video will be our polar coordinates okay thank you very much